The mechanism of fascial plastic deformation, viscoelasticity as opposed to elasticity, is incompletely understood. But once it's truly deformed, fascia does not snap back. Over time and given the opportunity, such as bringing the two fascial surfaces into opposition again and keeping them there, as in going back into the slump, it will, however, lay down new fibers that will rebind the area. But this is not the same as elastic recoil in the tissue itself. A full understanding of this concept is fundamental to the successful application of sequential fascial manipulation. Practicing therapists in our experience make frequent statements that betray an underlying belief that the fascia is either elastic or voluntarily contractile, even though they know it is not. The plasticity of fascia is its essential nature, its gift to the body and the key to unraveling its long-term patterns. Eventually, fibroblast in the area and additional <clears throat> mesenchymal stem cells or fibroblasts that may migrate there secrete more collagen in and around the muscle to create a better strap. The long collagen molecules secreted into the intercellular space by the fibroblasts are polarized and orient themselves like compass needles along the line of mechanical tension. They bind to each other with numerous hydrogen bonds via the interfibular glue. Proteoglycans or ground substance forming a strap-like matrix around the muscle. 